guys, so uh, I'm in a car right now. I'm filming a uh, day in the life video. It's the third time I've tried to film one this week and I'm really hoping I actually complete a day. But uh, yeah, I'm just gassed, totally tired. Um, didn't get to bed until past 11 o'clock and then my grandfather was up at 1.27 and was up multiple times every single hour until now, which is uh, just past 8 o'clock and I've just driven um, a couple miles to this conservation area that I go to pretty often and I'm gonna get out there and try to um, center myself a little bit and get ready for my day because uh, yeah, I'm just feeling wiped already and it's only 8 o'clock, so. Yeah, and then I'm hoping to head to a coffee shop to work for about an hour and a half and then I'll go back home and I might do some cleaning and I might just go outside. I have no idea. Um, it's kind of my life nowadays. I don't really get to... I struggle with planning and uh, I think other people in my family struggle with planning and we don't have similar ideas as to when I say let's set a date for something or um, can we talk about dates, it's just so not on the same page and I really function with schedules and so it's been definitely difficult over the last while to several months to function like this. So. Yeah, I'm gonna get outside before I don't because it's so cold. It's like 24 degrees out and I'm freezing already and I'm just sitting in the car. So I gotta move. I gotta move. Those of you feeling like it's really hard to get outside in winter, I totally understand, but at the same time, I think I've, um, I've done it enough, I, I value it enough throughout all the other months that I know once I get out here I will receive something and I'm able to offer something out here that it's really valuable and needed not only for for the nature and trees but also valuable for me just to be out here be amongst the natural cycles of of life and um, receiving all the immune boosting um, de-stressing uh, beautiful things that nature naturally offers us so I would just encourage you to um, make time to get outside and in the future I will definitely make a video on um, what I do in winter specifically to stay, oh goodness, um, to stay passionate about getting outside and you know practical things that I do as well. <sighs> Burr. So I've been out here for a little while now and I'm slowly working my way back. But look at the sunshine. Oh. All right, I am headed to the coffee shop, hopefully to uh, work for at least an hour. Man, I'm just wiped. Pretty extraordinary how how beat down you can feel when you just really don't sleep. You know, I never used to. Um, gosh, at the age of what, maybe 
seven or eight, I started just putting myself to bed and I would tell my parents I'm tired and I'd go up and sleep. And uh, yeah, I just took care of myself really well, I feel like, and now it's, it's much more difficult and challenging to do that, so. Anyway, I will keep you updated on how the day goes. And I did want to uh, check in and see if there's anyone here who wants me to do like a Instagram um, strategies, best practices for growth type of thing because uh, I've attended a few um, high profile events, specifically the one in Bali, um, and I've gained a lot of knowledge, and um, I do feel like people could benefit from it, so I will be, um, I'll be thinking about that in the future, I'm just not really sure how that fits in with my channel here, um, but, you know, we're all, we're just all about growth, and, uh, sharing my process, my journey, and if I have resources that could support you, I will um, definitely share them if that's of interest, so, yeah. Alright, so, sorry guys, I uh, neglected to catch any footage inside the uh, coffee shop. Um, I stayed there for about an hour and uh, yeah, I got a lot of good work done. I got a video uploaded. I did um, some more research and I was starting to write a little bit and then I realized my laptop was on low battery. I think it was at like 20% when I got there and just doing some stuff that consumes a lot of uh, power, so, um, yeah. Headed home, it's about 10 o'clock right now, and hoping I can sneak in without being noticed and uh, still get some more work done before I um, say hi to my nephew and, um, see what grandpa's been up to. Hopefully he's been sleeping, even though I didn't sleep because he didn't sleep, but then he gets to nap and I usually don't nap. So it's just, uh, then he'll be up tonight. So anyway, just thinking a lot. just totally kind of besides all the other things that I do I generally have like a topic or something that's kind of like on my mind that's empowering me that is um, moving me forward wanting me to continue doing um, research and, and furthering my learning on different subjects and it's lately been a lot about um, blue light and 5g radiation and cell phone, computer, radiation, and the role uh, our, our mitochondria play in our health and um, yeah, figuring out how to incorporate more, um, more, more natural light, both, um, you know, light during the day, but also um, spending time outside in darkness and then also limiting my exposure to blue light um, such as my phone which I now have put on different filters which help um, prevent my eyes from um, absorbing so much blue light and messing with my circadian ry rhythms. Um, also have a filter now on my computer and sorry, it's like a bus behind me and don't want it to keep bumping. Um, but yeah, and then the only other thing.
thing that I really can't help is my grandfather likes the TV on, so the TV is on a lot at home. Like, whenever he's awake, it's on, because that's what he wants to do. And so, um, yeah, there's, I haven't figured out how to block the, the blue light from that to save my, my eyes and just help me stay more in tune with uh, the natural cycles of uh, light and dark. But yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'll figure out a way. I'll definitely talk about it more once I understand it better. Um, but uh, it's making so much sense and um, kind of mind-blowing in a lot of ways. Um, just to name someone, really, there's a couple people who I've been interested in lately, but one being Dr. Jack Cruz, and that's uh, Cruz with a K, K-R-U-S-E, um, talking, there's all sorts of things he's done recently, but um, yeah, he's super, super interesting and has a lot of good things to say. All right, so I'm, I'm now home. So I will be uh, attempting to get in, and if I do get in without any major disturbances, I will be working on some things, so I'll be able to tell you what's going on with some other projects. And yeah, if not, you'll see my lovely, lovely nephew, um, which will be perfect too. Going to the park? Alright. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Oops, stay on tight. <laughs> I didn't even hold it. <laughs> Is that us? Hmm? Should we leave this down there? No. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> what you doing with my juggling clubs? I know I'm doing that. Okay. That's a good spot for it. You have to take a picture. We're taking a video. So I got this phone, which you saw me unbox, and yes, if I had, what can I compare it to? Um, hey Jack, be careful in there, pal. Uh, oh, here, something underneath here. Okay, is that okay? Yes. So this is a regular business card, or not business card, a credit card. Um, and this is the phone. Now, why did I get this super light, crazy looking phone is because it has very low radiation. And so unlike a 
um, iPhone or other phone where the radiation, well, first of all, the radiation on an iPhone goes directly into your head, um, where Samsung actually uh, angles it out. Um, so that's better, but you're still getting a lot of radiation because of how um, powerful the, uh, I guess it would be waves that are coming to and from your phone. Ooh. I got this. Oh, look, you got blueberry stains on our mouth, don't we, Jack? <laughs> okay, so I got this phone because I thought maybe I'd switch over to this and then just use my iPhone yeah, for Wi-Fi. No. Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm still navigating all this stuff. I'm still learning about um, everything, but I haven't gotten it to work yet either. So, but it is cool. It does turn on, just the SIM doesn't, um, it says that I have service, but it doesn't, it doesn't allow me to call someone yet. So, anyway, really crazy that it's this tiny and this light and it could literally fit in your wallet. Um, but, yeah, kind of a crazy thing, huh? We gotta clean your mouth, don't we? Hmm? Is that right? You got a little, got a little blue babies on it? Good morning, so I wanted to end this video now because I wanted to edit it and uh, yeah, I wanted to share this book that I just received from my friend, Julia. Um, she's been working this on this book for a long time and um, it is absolutely beautifully designed, first of all. I can't um, do this. Let's see. It's like interludes. Let's see. Is there another one? Where is it? They're just. The whole book is just so nicely designed. And um, I read through the whole thing. And there's just a lot of good um, little snippets of um, how one might want to create a forest bathing lifestyle. And it's more about um, in ways to integrate it into your life. And it kind of takes you on a journey through um, throughout the book of just kind of like arriving and it takes you basically on a walk but it's obviously more elaborated and um, many different things to consider but it's also relating to the bigger picture of your life and how to integrate that as well um, so yeah it's a cool book I will leave a link in the description below if you guys are interested because I think I showed you a picture or maybe I didn't but why is my screen red and why is my phone red sometimes, which you guys don't get to see actually, because, anyway. It's so that it's blocking the um, blue light from my phone as much as possible, so I have it on that setting. Um, I'll show you in another video how to do that with an iPhone. But yeah, just trying to not affect my circadian rhythm as much with, uh, the technology, especially afternoon, evening, and night, so that I can sleep better. Um, and then, yeah, this little phone that I was showing you guys the other day. <laughs> ah. So, I'm going to have to switch um, phone plans, phone companies, in order to have this work and also have it work on my iPhone. So, I'll be switching it back and forth until I figure out 
you know, if this really will work for me. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just excited to have less technology in my life. And um, this only supports 2G, and so the SIM card that I have currently in my phone that I'm recording this on is, uh, it's a what? Oh, I forgot to add my... It won't support 2G. So, yes, but it does work. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited to actually make a call on it and see. Because it's tiny, guys. See my face? Like, look at this. Okay, I think that's it. That's all I want to say. Oh, no, here, I'll share this, too. The and. I don't think I've shared it before. I have the family and friend edition. These cards are so much fun, and I've played a lot with my family, and uh, they're just cool question cards to get to know them more, and um, maybe I'll do a, some sort of a video with them in the future, too, to show you more what they are. Anyway, thank you guys for listening, for anyone who actually stayed here this long and found it interesting. I appreciate you. And I am going to leave. Go do some work on the computer now. Have an awesome day. I'll see you super soon. Life is wonderful. Life is wonderful. Never understood. But life